Welcome to Virus Academy. On June 29, 2023, you might have already heard about this uh, this tax refund scam. And there is a tax refund scam happened in the in the Hyderabad. And there are eight tax consultants were involved in this. The total amount of fraud involved is 40 crores. And the officials are selling that this is a tip of an iceberg. So there are more needs to explore and they are started investigation into this. And what exactly is the you know fraud happened? There are many employees and total eight consultants were involved in this fraud. I am going to explain for the next 5 to 10 minutes what exactly that was happened and what we need to learn from this, especially in the month of July, which is a tax return season. Okay, let us see. So, there are three categories of employees mainly involved here. One is police, interesting. Police were also there and software and railway. There are three uh, from three departments, uh, you know, employees were involved into this and there are eight consultants were there, eight tax consultants were there. And I think one of the person, one of the person went for the for filing of the first, first income tax return. Normally what will happen is if one person gets the refund, he will do a mouth publicity. That particular person is, person is doing good and I got a refund also. Then everybody will go into that particular consultant to do the file the return. The, in this case, this might have happened. So all of these people doesn't have any tax background. They don't know about any tax laws. So all of these people went to these eight consultants to file their returns. So to every person, every employee, this what these consultants said is, so yes, you are eligible for a refund. So you will get a refund. But after filing the return, you will get a refund. Out of that refund, you give me 10% as my commission. So if they get 20,000 as, as a refund and 10% that is 2,000 rupees is their commission. So this is the return filing fee. This is what the agreement is. So they said yes because they doesn't know and they feel that they are eligible for a refund and they don't know that uh, tax loss consequences etc etc. They just feel that they are, they are eligible for the refund. What these eight consultants did is in their income tax return they have climate deduction under section 80 triple C section 80 d d uh, newspaper it has mentioned section 80 double c i feel that it is section 80 triple c they have uh, climbed they have climbed the incorrectly so they, these consultants have climbed expenditure without any proof these employees are not eligible for the further deduction they just climb it to get the refund they climbed the deduction under section 80 triple c and 80 d d as well so 80 triple c is for the pension fund and 80 DD is for if you have any dependent handicapped person, further person, any medical expenditure, if you if you uh, incur any medical expenditure, further there is a flat deduction of 75,000 or 1 as the case may be is applicable. Okay. So these are the provisions section 80 triple C and section 80 DD. So they claimed the deduction and the employees got the refund and the money also credited to uh, these employees from the income tax department. So from income tax departments, they got the refunds as well. So and they have paid 10% as commission to the consultants as well. Now, now, um, no, 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 you, you know, the ball comes to the income tax department. Now income tax department has seen this, all these returns and they have uh, actually gone through these returns and there are income tax departments also have a good tools to identify these kinds of cases. If you see in the return also, there is a section called basic information section. In that basic information section, we will give you whether it is a private employee, government employee, if it is a government employee, which department, there is some basic information will be there. From that basic information, they have seen that one police department software employees relating to the same company, especially software employees relating to the same company, all are having the dependent handicapped person, all of them have climbed the expenditure. This is very uh, you know, impractical and it is not possible. And so they are not questioned about if it is the same thing under only under section 80 triple C. They got this question when they have actually seen the deduction under section 80 DD. 80 DD deduction is a unique one and it is very rare, rare to you know uh, climb deduction under section 80 DD. And all of the, then they got a question saying that how come all these people from the related to the same city and same company are having the dependent handicapped person all of a sudden and they incur the medical expenditure also. 
and in support to it in support to it when the income tax team uh, department has asked for it these consultants provided a fake bills a fake tampered bills they have submitted after looking all the documentation and and everything they come to a conclusion that these consultants did a fraud and these employees were also involved into it now income tax department actually going into the much into the deep and they have even said that <clears throat> this is tip of a iceberg that means there is a large number of cases like this can be explored in future in the in the nearest future okay so this is what exactly happened now income tax department has issued a notices um, to eight consultants anyhow and even they issued a prosecution notice to the police of software railway employees whoever is involved into it whether they are willingly invo involved unwillingly involved that needs to be come out and their investigation is going on but they got the prosecution notices now this is a very risky thing why to claim excess deduction when you are not eligible to do so what we learn from this situation what we learn from this incident is that again tax season came july july our every month is a individual returns tax filing is there so again the same situation client will force the tax professional or the you know tax professional sometimes advise to the client to claim the deduction and under this specific section you will get to, to reduce the taxation to do the client satisfaction ke liye they will claim the excess deduction don't do that income tax department is very active and they know every moment okay and even clients also uh, please don't force the tax professional to reduce the taxation whatever that you are eligible to, uh, to claim you claim it and whatever tax is there you pay it otherwise this is so how much is the tension and pressure these people will be under under now because they received the prosecution notice prosecution is a little complicated one coming out of it is is difficult so it is better to claim less and you know claim whatever valid and legally do to do so and pay the taxes and be a peace of mind be with a peace of mind this is what my advice is thank you so much for watching i hope you understand if any client is asking you saying that i i need i want to reduce further tax after claiming all the deductions please show this video to them please aware of this incident that was recently happened thank you so much signing off bye